This has to be rock bottom for the Lightning. The big story coming into today's Lightning Canes game, for me at least, was how the Lightning were going to respond after what transpired in last night's game against the Sabres. For those that didn't hear, going into the third period down 4-1, to one, Lightning forwards Stamkos, Kucherov, and Point all got benched for the entire third period of that game. This was clearly a very strong message from Cooper to the rest of the team, and I think by most accounts, we all figured they'd come out today and respond accordingly against the Canes. Well... That's not exactly how it went down. They came out pretty flat and gave up two in the first, the first of which coming from Svechnikov on a great individual effort, and then the second as the Canes on the power play get set up, Niemi finds Teravainen, and they were up by two. That would be all the scoring for the period, and the Lightning got just four shots on net, getting outshot 13-4, to four. but if that was bad, the second was so, so much worse. Early in the period, Svechnikov gave Hedman a push, and Hedman, going down awkwardly would stay down clearly in a lot of discomfort pointing to his back and yeah he left the game and you just really hate to see this as for the game it was all hurricanes they got some great chances that Vasilevsky had to shut down early but Vasilevsky playing the puck gives it away tic-tac-toe and Tara Vinen with his second of the night gets him up by three then to add insult to injury quite literally Kucherov on the attempted dump in by the Canes gets caught up high and he stays down down and would also end up heading for the locker room. Then getting back on the power play, the Canes give it up and Hagel breaking loose on the breakaway in hits the post as the Lightning just could not catch a break and note this does not count as a shot on goal. Still on the power play though on the other end some pretty passing and Shane Gostas Bear scores his second power play goal in two games as a member of the Canes. As the second came to an end down four goals to nothing the Lightning still only had four shots as they failed to register a single shot in the entire second period becoming the first team in the entire NHL to not record a shot in a period all year long and also was the first time they didn't record a shot in a period since 2019. That just so happened to also be in a second period against the Hurricanes. I mean what are the odds there? But anyway the second came and went with the Lightning having more breakaways than they did shots on net. Let that one sink in for a second. Into the third and final period what was great to see was Kucherov returning and the Lightning were finally able to get a few things going but still couldn't score despite getting a few great opportunities and while it was good to see Kucherov come back midway through the period the Hurricanes on the power play again and blocking the shot Sergachev this time goes down and he was clearly in a lot of pain trying to get off the ice and man when it rains it pours if you're a lightning fan my goodness it really could not have gone much worse with that said the Hurricanes still on the power play Gostisberg puts one on net rebound and Teravainen finds it to complete the Hattie in what was just a fantastic game for him and the Canes in general. The Hurricanes would go on to get another on a 5-3 and three, and they snap their two-game losing streak and show again that they are for real this year. I know they terrify me as a Penguins fan. As for the Lightning, again, this was just this has to be rock bottom, right? How much worse can it possibly get? There is a good amount of games left and they are far too talented of a team to not get out of this slump at some point. But... With that said, if Hedman is really going to be out long term, yikes, this could be serious, serious trouble for the Lightning, and we have all known for how long now the likelihood of a Lightning Maple Leafs first round matchup. If this is a sign of things to come, this very well may be the year the Leafs finally get past the Lightning and into the second round, but I guess we shall all see. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, I appreciate you very much, and I will see you in the next one.